Good morning, and I'm all on my flat. My boyfriend has left me, left me with Stitch. He has left me to go and see the Hamilton musical in London. Why did you not take me with you? Seriously, I want to go to London. Hopefully, next time, my boyfriend will take his girlfriend to London. Anyway, throughout the week, I have been video editing for Toonspeak. Toonspeak had a show at Stereo Cafe in Glasgow. There were young performers and professionals on stage performing their own script, spoken word, monologue, or a poem. I was on stage, there were so many people on stage, Moki, Stuart, Holly, so many people on stage, and this is what happened. Do you remember? You filmed me when I was on the toilet, and I had no idea. What did you do with the video? Do you remember? Did you put on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or worse, message to everybody's school? Do you remember? Do you realize what you did to me? I kept thinking of so many ways I could have stopped you. Her fight is nearly over. She thinks this is her final hour. Her life is hell. No one can change her or even help her. She faints. She falls. She can't stand. She can't speak. She's broke. She's weak. And then she sees someone. I grip her hand tightly as we begin to run. There's nowhere to go. It's a bloody massacre. We stop at the site. Our friend's lying in the street, in pain, crying, bleeding, dying. I hear a bang. As I said, I am hanging, I am swaying, I am alive. You see me every day, you throw me aside like I'm laundry. I love you the way the soldier loves his awards, but I need you the way you need oxygen. But I hate you because you surround me all the time, as I am your hair. <laughs> Tonight. I really thought that this would be the one The night I'd get my life all sorted out I had a video edit that all and then put it up on Toon Speaks channel on YouTube I cannot wait to do that! Throughout the whole day by day thing Anyway, also today I am going to be going to Glasgow to see Karen Gillan's movie which is a part of the Glasgow Film Festival. Her movie is called The Party Just Begun. It is not that cheerful at all. I've got to stop singing her title of her movie, Cheerful, because her movie is not cheerful. It's about a girl who's trying to get over the fact her best friend has been killed. So, does her character have anything worth living for? We'll find out in the movie of The Party Just Begun. Stop it! The Party Just Begun. So I'll be seeing that movie today, and if I've got time, I'm going to show you my Rycon costume. Because I'm going to Rycon on the 3rd of March. Washing machine on, done the washing up, done one video editing, and now I'm off to Glasgow. I think I can see the doctor. So many people in Glasgow who dress up as the doctor, any doctor, whether it's for Comic Con or they just want to. My boyfriend think it was cool. I'm in Glasgow right now, hopefully I'm going to the right place. Glasgow Film Theatre. Sorry, the Glasgow Film Festival is using too many venues. Hope I don't get lost. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alan Hunter. I'm the co-director of the Glasgow Film Festival. I just want to welcome you along to our second screening of Karen Gillan's The Party's Just Beginning. Uh, big thanks, as always, to the festival's main sponsors, Rich Film Institute, Creative Scotland, Event Scotland, and Glasgow Life. Um, and um, I have a, a major uh, announcement here. Um, is there anyone who, who parked perhaps at Cambridge Street just after one o'clock? I think you, you dropped your ticket. Uh, <laughs> so if anyone, if anyone then, then I've got it all here. So. Yeah? Someone's ticket's been found. Um, and I'll just remind you that uh, this is a film that is eligible for the Audience Award. Uh, that means you should have been given a postcard when you came in. And once you've seen the film, you can just tear off the bit of the card that most approximates your feelings on the film. And there will be volunteers to collect them in the buckets on the way out. And we, uh, there are 10 films eligible for the award. And we announce the winner on the closing night, which is a week today, with a pass around. 
Uh, but thank you for coming along this afternoon and enjoy the party just beginning. Thank you. I just saw the party just beginning by Karen Gillan and I had to go and find someone to ask them what did you think of the movie. I had to find someone to go and ask for a radio show. So I found someone, a girl named Eve, who I had no idea, who's a critic reporter for Interfilms. So this is what she said about the movie, The Party's Just Beginning. What can you tell me for people who haven't seen the movie, The Party's Just Begun? Uh, it's both comedic, but it also deals with the serious issues of suicide and how our girls going through it. And it's something I'd really recommend to everyone. Thank you. <laughs> what I thought about it was, it was a mix of scenes of beginning, a middle and an end. They were all mixed up. The beginning had subtitles and I had no idea why. Because she was very drunk. There was drunken scenes, there was naked scenes, there was a lot happening, which happens in our world today. And it was, it was a really good movie. I actually enjoy it. I would, I would get it on DVD. I wonder when it comes out on DVD. There were funny bits, and my funniest bit was like just laughing at the train station because that is only in for this train station in for this. <laughs> Seriously, uh, there were some funny bits. I liked, I like, I liked the movie. I really did. I think I give the film a thumbs up. I give it four stars for the uh, audience award at the film festival. So hopefully that will give her a gold star for an award. Anyway, I'm back home. I'm gonna go do some more video editing for Tune Speak. Busy, busy me. Okay, that's it exporting. Now I'm gonna show you my Rycon costume. What do you think? I'm going as a Tina Miku, who's an anime character, a very popular singer in Japan. The costume costs about sixty pounds. There is a wig coming, and it's gonna come on Wednesday. I think that costs about less than 20 pounds so I can't wait to get the, everything together ready for Rycon on 3rd of March. I'm so excited. This is my first anime comic con. I don't know what to expect. I hear there's going to be workshops, there's going to be a costume competition which I've entered in. Hope it's all going to go well and we're going to have a good Saturday. Also came with the costume is this tie which I'm going to put on on the day and also these hair clips came to. These go in my wig when it arrives on Wednesday. They're just hair clips. Just go into the ponytails. And yeah, it did cost £60, but the size of this is size 16. I'm not even a size 16. I'm a UK 10. It came all the way from China. I got this at Tokyo Tokyo in Glasgow. And I tried on a uh, extra small, then a two extra small, then a UK 10, and then a UK 16. And this is what I got. It was worth it, or else I actually would have got the wrong size on eBay. So I'm actually glad I got the costume. And I know, I cost that much, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, yeah. Just can't wait for my wig. I love my... Sorry, the wig's blue. I, I can't wait for the wig. Anyway, stop getting excited. I need to go back to do video editing after taking this costume off, and I need to somehow, later on, hang up my washing. A sharp knife on a short line. Well, I've had just enough time If I die young, bury me inside Lay me down on the bed of roses Save me in the river Have dawn, send me away With the words of a love song The sharp night of a short life Well, I had just enough time If you don't know, I've been singing the whole of February just because my New Year's revolution was to sing the whole of February And guess what? Right now, I'm vlogging! I love myself! Anyway, I'm gonna stop the vlog here because Ryan will be home soon and he'll tell me his day in London or not, depends how he feels because like he's been on the train for an hour and also I could be asleep when he gets home. But he's told me a little bit about his time in London. Excellent! We were just out now. Show was brilliant. Off for food and a trip up the skyscraper tonight. It's, you know, when leaving tomorrow. That's nice from him. He went to see Hamilton the musical in London. Why did you not take me? Mm. Well, he said the show was brilliant. He can tell me more later. Maybe tomorrow. But I've got college and maybe he's got work. So I don't know when he'll tell me. You know what? 
It's been a good day. I've gone to the Glasgow Film Festival to see Karen Gillan's movie. The part's just begun, that was good to see. I can't wait for it to come out on DVD somehow. I video edited five videos today for TuneSpeak, yes! Usually I video edit four for TuneSpeak. Yeah, it's been a pr productive day. I can be productive when I'm alone, alone in the house, which I don't live in. I live in a flat with my boyfriend, I'm not alone. Anyway, this is the end of the vlog. Please give it a thumbs up, comment below if you've seen The Part Just Begun, because I'd like to know if you've seen it. And please put that down. Please put down your review, because I want to hear back from you if you actually saw the movie. And if you saw like, Eden Court, my home theatre in Inverness, I really want to know if it was like, you know what, Eden Court, because that would have been cool. That's the place I would have seen it if I was still home back in Inverness. And also, yeah, guys, su subscribe to my channel. Why not? You'll see some more vlogs. And, you know, subscribe right now, and you'll be ready to see me at RideCon. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Bye, guys. This has been Danger Debs. The opposite of danger.